location for us. Check your maps. The ring is quite far. There is not much time left. Might be something good this way. What the heck was that? I think they were trying to glitch. Lol. I'm getting shot. Enemy down. Recharging shield. Hey, what is up, my man? Like you guys know, I love Apex Legend. I play like 35 hours a week. And I'm working a lot, so I don't have a lot of time to, to make montages. And I have so many clips, so many good clips, so many gameplay I want to share. But I don't have the time to. And I'm trying to be creative. You guys know my channel is about uh, FPS games. I was a zombie player, I'm still but now zombie is dead and i think i should start to make videos about my biggest fails why because every time i get a high kill game going or a high score game i'm not getting the win because i don't have to score for it so technically i'm always carrying people because i have a good kd and i will talk about all that in another video because I found a way to scrap my KD and I'm getting better players now but this one is not a good example like you guys see right in my squad did zero kills and I had to carry her she was going her own direction and she done nothing for the squad and that is the problem with the MMA Apex Sledge. This game will be perfect with a solo mode, but strategies of marketing to sell video games is poor. They say together we are stronger. That's the message they try uh, to tell with this game. But they are losing money without a solo mode because Everybody that is playing solo will go war zone, and there's a lot of people that will go solo because, like, what they don't understand is the guy that cannot do a kill affect the gameplay of the people that are running for kills, and it's driving people crazy. It's making rage people. I have to mute people like so much, like up 40 percent of the time. I have to mute them but let's stay positive this game is a lot more challenging than the direction they're going with zombie first of all zombie never been about fps if you go in apex you will understand after playing only zombie okay because uh, you have no rotation assist or aim assist in apex legend okay only cheaters but i'm talking in the game options you don't have those options that in zombie they give to you because let's be honest they want to make zombie funny and not competitive let's give an example the leaderboards like did they let hackers scrap bo3 leaderboards they did let day one hackers scrap cold war leaderboard they don't care about leaderboards. It's like th this is a funny mode just pop some bubble gums, just pop some elixir, buy some, and now it's like buy some skins, but we cannot fix uh, the bugs. Wait, maybe in three months. We cannot fix the crashing issues. Wait, maybe in a couple years. And they're, they, they're still trying to do stuff that they, they're talking about for, for years and years. And do you really think like in the next Call of Duty it will change stuff and it will not crash and everything will be perfect and it will be competitive and there will be money prices and shit like that. No, 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 no. You can't forget about it. 
Like, like in, in Apex Legend, you get more content in a month than you will get in a year of zombie. Okay. The only reason people played Cold War Zombie, it's because of the COVID situation. It came out at the same time, and Call of Duty have a good reputation, and it was kind of more open for casual players because they don't know how to play. They don't have the experience to just jump into it. You have a minimum skills. You get so much salvage that you will buy unlimited life. You will buy thousands of self-revive so you will be able to get thousands of downs and i think the future of zombie will be even more ridiculous so me i still want to grind good content and apex legend is challenging me so much more and i have so much more fun when i reach my goals there but most of the time it's not with a squad so a solo mode is required because Everybody that want to play solo will go Warzone. I don't understand why they don't want you uh, to play solo. I know the message with this game is together we are stronger. But like I said, 90% of the time it's not the case. It's like together they're effing your parties. <laughs> you know? Anyway. So, okay, uh, in this game I done, uh, I think, 11 kills, 13 knocks, and I did carry one. He did not help me. You guys will see I will respawn him. I thought he would revive me. I thought he would do something. He never did nothing. Nothing. And I did up 3,000 damage. That was a good one. And, uh, yeah, I will try to make good content. I love Apex Legends. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. And peace. The backpack here. I'll start here. In progress. Don't forget your lifeline. You can revive me easy. You just have to to click on me and you and start Seems reviving. Like Contact with hostiles in that. Shield broken. Reloading. Enemy down. Broken enemy shield. Reloading. I got a lot this time. That's the last of that squad. Loot. Mentions looking up. Two other squads remain. You're useless!